Hey everyone, this is Ben. In this video, I'll show you a cool trick to free up a space on your computer by using symbolic links. And it works on Linux, macOS, and Windows. And we'll also explore how this trick can help you with virtual devices and enter the studio with those big files. So let's get started. Let's take a look at how symbolic links work. First, I create a folder here on the desktop. Just an empty folder. And let me create a text file here. All right. Now here on the desktop, open a terminal and run ln s and a white space and the path of the main folder and another white space and the path of where you want to create the fake folder or symbolic link all right the symbolic link has been created and you can see that this folder has an arrow icon anyway here you can see the text file actually it's like a mirror Whatever is here, is here too. If I rename this, you will see that it will be renamed on the other side. And if I create another file, you see that? Okay. And if I delete something, just like a mirror, whatever happens here will happen here. You can do this on Linux and Mac and Windows. And for Mac, it is the same as Linux. Now on Windows, here is the main folder. Open a command prompt here. and run mklink white space and the forward slash d but on windows first fake name or symbolic link and white space and the main folder all right here it is Now here I'm in Android Studio and I want to create a virtual device. Here is the device manager and it can also be found in the tools menu. In the virtual tab, let's create a device. Select a profile and here we must select an API level. For example, for Android 11, we need API 30, but now we are unable to proceed because first we need to download this. And here is the image file currently downloading. And it's a quite large file. And when it is decompressed, it becomes larger. All right, done. It has been downloaded and decompressed in this path in the system images. Now we can use it. And here are the configs. Now we can run it. Okay, here is our virtual Android 11 device.
and if we go to home android sdk system images we can see the image files here and this is the main file and you see that it is 3.2 gigabytes And the entire folder is 3.3. But these are not the files of our virtual device. This folder contains only the files used to create the virtual device. The virtual device's files are located in the home. Dot Android. AVD. Here is the virtual device files. And you see that it's very larger and it is 9.8 gigabytes. We have nothing to do with these. And it is recommended to have all of these files stored on your fastest SSD. But we can move the system images to another storage to free up more space. And let me show you. Also see that if you want more API levels. We currently have API level 30, which is here. And I want API 25. Look here. It creates another big folder here. But the good news is that we don't need a fast storage to store these image files. We can even use a USB disk like this or a cheap external hard drive or a network storage. I remember doing this before even on these old hard drives and it worked fine. So I'm going to plug this in and transfer images to it. Here is my USB disk. Let's move this here. First, let me create a directory here, Android images. Let's free 3.3 gigabytes. Cut it and paste it here. Now let's create a link to it here. First, let's get the path on the USB disk. Okay, here is the path. And here on my main storage, ln dash s and the white space and paste the path and android 30 folder we copied and android 30 again for the symbolic link name here it is here we have all the files 
but they are on the USB disk. Let's create another virtual device. Android 30. All right, let's run it. The first time run might take some time, but after that, it'll be faster. Okay, it works. You can use this trick for most of the programs as store large files in your storage and use them only once in a while like android virtual device genymotion or similar apps or generally for files that do not need special processing and get more space on your main storage